Hi everyone, I'm Sri, a product manager at Datadog, and it's great to be here today. So, I know many of us have been working on large AI initiators within our companies, and if you've been working with LLMs, we all know that they're quite powerful, but also pretty unpredictable. That's where evaluation and experimentation comes into play. They are how we can test changes to our prompts, our models and applications, and make sure we are actually improving things. So with that context in mind, can I get a quick, quick show of hands on how many of you here can say you've absolutely nailed your LLM evaluation process? Yeah, not, not a lot of hands, right? Because um, I don't think anyone here can actually confidently say that because it's so new and it's such an evolving uh, science. But before I even go into why uh, LLM evaluations are hard, let's quickly level set on why evals even matter. One, our models keep evolving. The last two and a half years has been breathtaking in terms of the pace of innovation and the rate at which new models are getting released. With every new model release, these models are getting more powerful, they're getting more cost effective, or sometimes both. And that means we're constantly iterating, constantly testing and swapping new models, trying to see how we can evaluate and see which model is the best in the context of the application we are building. Second, our use cases are also expanding fast. As the models are getting better, we also want to push the frontiers of what our AI application can do. Many teams have launched AI products or AI features with one or two core, core scenarios, but the business wants more. New workflows, new customers, new user segments, new integrations, and which means we are kind of constantly iterating to see how we can improve and address these newer use cases. And finally, you need proof, data. When you tweak a prompt, swap a model, or change something in LM applications, how do we know we're actually improving things? Without a solid evaluation process, you're leaving it to a lot of guesswork to make cost, quality, and performance trade-offs. We can vibe code, but we really can't vibe shit. Right? And that is the truth today. LLM application development is extremely iterative, but without a reliable yardstick for improvement, that iteration feels a bit like chaos. So we know now that evals matter. We know we all should be doing it. But yet, I don't think anyone, anyone here can say we are, we are doing it right. And that's because the entire journey is pretty hard. The entire process is riddled with a lot of friction in the process. For one, many of us may not have baselines or a benchmark for improvement and measuring ourselves. And we don't have a golden truth or a golden set of responses. Oftentimes, we're just comparing outputs based on gut feel and vibes. We may also be iterating blindly. We may be tweaking prompts, optimizing for a specific test case. But when we optimize for one area, it could be causing regressions elsewhere. And this is more common especially with LLM applications, given they're so non-deterministic. And lastly, the testing is extremely slow, painful, and manual. Many teams are still cobbling together spreadsheets of prompts, golden responses, right, Jupyter notebooks, and homegrown scripts. But these do not scale, especially as the application grows and your user adoption is increasing. So to address these challenges, I'm now happy to announce that LLM Experiments is now available as part of Datadog LLM Observability. When we first launched LLM Observability, we were primarily targeting monitoring and troubleshooting use cases. Teams could trace their LLM calls, see token usage, latencies, debug errors, set up some pre-build evaluations, and keep an eye on their costs. This gave developers the confidence and the visibility to deploy and scale the applications in production. But what we learned from you, our customers, is that working with LLMs isn't just about monitoring. It's extremely iterative. You're constantly tweaking props, you're swapping models, adjusting your LLM chains and pipelines. And this iteration process up until now was hard to measure, but even harder to scale. LLM experiments is designed to fill that gap. With the Experiments SDK, you can quickly run structured tests over your data sets, dive deeper to compare why one prompt is performing better than the other, compare entire experiments side by side, 
and make decisions on cost, quality, and performance all in a single place. LM Experiments has three main capabilities that is designed to remove the pain from an evaluation experimentation process. One, flexible data sets. You can bring in your own set of test cases into Datadog, define that as a data set within experiments. Or more importantly, you can even promote your production phrases as test cases by adding them to a data set with a single click. This way, your data sets actually reflect the reality and what your users are actually seeing in the wild versus a set of synthetic lab cases. Second, you can run structured tests over your data sets, compare experiments side by side, tweak prompts within a playground, add your own custom LLM evals, and submit your own evals as well, all within the experiments platform. This way, you're cutting iteration cycle from days and hours to just minutes. And finally, and this is critical, we help close the loop. You can continuously monitor your LLM outputs live as they come in, apply the same evals that you used offline, catch any failures or anomalies, and these can then automatically flow into your data sets to act as new test cases for your next iteration loop. This helps accelerate your LLM application development cycle. With the addition of experiments to LLM observability product, we now cover every stage of your LLM application pipeline. You can develop and make changes to your prompts, test and tweak your prompts within the prompt playground. You can now evaluate these changes, build your own custom LLM evals, submit your own evals. You can iterate quickly by running structured experiments over your realistic data sets, and then you can monitor them in production, all within the same product. And from production, you can then identify anomalies, failures, which then flow into your data set to help accelerate your next iteration cycle. This is a flywheel that keeps going faster and faster. Now, before I wrap up, there's one natural question, which is, how can I use LM experiments more effectively? After all, tools are only as good as the practices and processes around them. While building LM experiments, we had a chance to work with several leading AI teams, including your own internal teams, and we noticed some best practices when it comes to LM evaluations. First, ship small, ship early. The easiest mistake we can do is trying to build a gigantic set of test cases that cover a wide variety of imagined hypotheticals. One of our customers, Whoop, is a great example. They started by testing small, having developing focused data sets tied to their core user experience. This gave them the confidence to build quickly, but also expand systematically. Next, start with end-to-end -end evals. It's tempting to test components in isolation, but the real signal comes from evaluating a systems the way customers experience it. One of our best examples is actually a BITS AI team as well. As they build their AI agents, they focus more on making sure that the AI agent came to the right conclusion, rather than obsessing and writing lots of evals, testing the actual number of steps or the order in which the steps took place. As long as the conclusions were right at the end, right, you could then move on to a more pressing challenge. And finally, avoiding overspecificity. If you design your evals for very narrow use cases, you tend to overfit for edge cases and miss the broader picture. Keeping the evals a little bit more broad-based also makes them more resilient to changes to your LLM application, your prompts, or the different use cases that you're building for. One of our customers, Appfolio, adopted a similar approach based on their own learnings. Rather than writing evals to test for specific phrases in the LLM uh, output for the AI chatbot, they more focused on whether the AI chatbot is answering the user intent and user goal. This allowed them to iterate faster as they expanded the use cases, as they didn't over-engineer the prompts, didn't really uh, dictate within the prompts that you know, LLM should respond this or that, and hence avoided a lot of refactoring cycles for them. And all these examples use LM observability as part of their journey. And I can't wait for you guys to use LM experiments as well. To learn more about it, do check out our uh, demo at the demo booth. We also have a session later this afternoon, a fireside with uh, a VP of Vosel, V0, where we'll be diving deeper into rapid prototyping and experimentation as well. But before I wrap up, there are three main things 
that uh, LM experiments does. One, ground truths that reflect reality, iteration cycles that are cut from days to minutes, and the ability to decide with data, not gut feel. And you can turn any failures into production, uh, into tests, and close the loop between development and production. So I've just talked about how we could harness the power of AI in a much more iterative and systematic fashion. Some of the best companies that do that today, do that today are a lot of AI startups, many of which we can find in the Bay Area as well. 